hopefully today I sound a little bit better. Got a Rode microphone and uh, set the GoPro 6 up a little bit differently. This is actually the second time I'm having to film this. Thank you to the Hero 6 deciding, oh, I just, we don't need audio on this one. So I'm going to spend the next eight minutes talking and then I'll find out, I guess, if it's actually working. Do not buy a GoPro. From what I understand, the company actually might very well be up for sale because by now what they've done is they've pretty much driven it into the ground. All right, I have something very, very special for you guys today. Uh, if you've been wondering where I've been for the last three weeks, I will tell you I've been working on a very tricky, tricky project and uh, frankly, <laughs> it's been kicking my butt. But we'll get back to that. But meanwhile, tonight I need sprue that is smaller than this. This is eighth inch. I need something a little smaller and I'm gonna show you how to do it when it's 1130 at night and well, you need it. So how many of you, be honest, because I know you guys lie, how many of you have ever seen this little girl clay called Sculpey? This is oven baked clay. You uh, shape it into hearts or a little dog or whatever, you, strawberry, and you make yourself some earrings or whatever. This is how they do it. I don't know if they trade them or whatever, but they make it out of this stuff and then they take and they cook it in the oven. The stuff gets hard. It's basically plastic is all really all it is. Well, in the section where they sell this, they sell a tool which you need. This isn't gonna be a review. I'm not gonna do an unboxing. There's a thousand of those videos on YouTube. I'm not gonna waste your time but I'm gonna show you how this right here will turn this into something, pretty much whatever you want. So with that, let's jump up close. Let's uh, take a peek at it and uh, we're gonna poop out some skinny wax. <laughs> All right, here we are, down and dirty up close. I don't know what this thing is called. Uh, the, the Walnut Knob or the Walnut Hill or, you know, they, they have a whole bunch of different, different ones of these. This one, is what my local store had. Uh, you have lots and lots of little uh, dies in here, but they're very, very thin. So you can't really put a whole lot of pressure in them or you're gonna blow them up. Uh, you can make a, a circle, a triangle. You can make a rectangle. You can extrude a dog or even some uh, hair for your doll. What I want is something smaller than we have right here. So let's take a peek through here at our options, and uh, here we go. It's pretty safe to say that that is probably the die if I was going to make this size. Well, I want something smaller. So yeah, I, I already cheated. You can see I've already got these three already dirty. I told you I had to had already do this video once before. Now here's the, the trick in order to make this thing do this. These things, like I said, are so thin. You find the die that you want. And this is the die here that I'd like to make pieces of. Then I find another die that's larger. So when I go over the top of it, I won't interfere with the two. And then I even take a third one just because, well, I'm like that. I'm belt and suspenders kind of guy. And uh, park him over the top. And now we have a nice clean ho exit hole for our wax. This is the tool, nothing fancy. End comes off. This is where you shove your dies. So we're gonna stick them in like that. And uh, looks like I got some wax stuck in there. Watch Jay clean his tool. <laughs> yank your crank back and uh, you can see there's a piston inside of there and uh, these are fairly tight uh, this particular set unlike the green one this one this was like 24 25 bucks or something and uh, it actually comes with a few spare o-rings which by the time you need them we all know that the Chinese cannot manufacture rubber these days so by the time you need them uh, 
they're going to fall apart when you touch them. So that's just the way that's going to work. Okay. This is red sprue, just regular conventional red sprue wax. In fact, this stuff's even hollow. I can feel it. It's definitely too hard in this particular, at this temperature to go through this extruder without royally probably stripping the threads in this thing would be my guess. So if you try this and you break your extruder, uh, I don't really care because you didn't do it right. I know how to use it in mine and uh, this works. So if you follow these simple, simple tips and this should do just fine for you. So basically all I'm doing here is kind of shaping it into a, a, a log that's going to go down inside of the, the, the chooch here and, uh, and then we'll make the magic happen. Now it's going to work. All right. Bring on Harbor Freight, the master of the drills. Uh, heat gun, eight bucks. Stick it on low. and steady and uh, yeah there's definitely some air in that but uh, that's okay It'd probably work pretty good if you were to crank this thing into some cold water as opposed to cranking it onto a hot piece of stainless steel on my workbench here. Yep, I've got some air in there, but that's alright. I'm going to make it look like a rope texture anyways. Route. And that is the fast, quick, down and dirty, cheap, easy way to make yourself some wax sprue when it's 11 o'clock at night. I'm going to take this off while it's still warm and uh, kind of get that wax off of there. And uh, that's the end of that. Very good. Hopefully this will help out some of you guys. And... Uh, Look for a new video here coming out pretty soon once I uh, get caught up on some of the casting work I'm working on. If you want a sneak peek, I'll show you the failure. And there's your sneak peek. That's it. You're going to have to tune in if you want to see it. Thanks for watching. See ya.